Hello outlaws and hello campers. Uh, it's Jack and I'm coming to you today from my backyard once again because we are going to do some hot tent camping. Some outlaw camp hot tent camping. Um, this is something I've never done before so it should be interesting. Um, I did spend uh, yesterday uh, pretty much all day well, not all day, but a while digging out this uh, spot here for where I'm gonna put the hot tent and hopefully it'll fit in there. Um, pretty much I got all day, nothing else to do except, uh, you know, take my time setting this up. It's gonna be a first run. So um, I don't think it's gonna be, uh, you know, how to set up the tent video or anything like that. I'm just gonna, you know, show you what I got. You guys are all used to my stuff. You've been here before. So uh, I'm gonna get to it. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. All right, so more or less, uh, I'm thinking this is where the tent's gonna go. Um, it's, uh, I'm a thermometer. I just bought a new thermometer, digital one. You guys will be seeing that soon. Uh, says that it is uh, 27 degrees out here. Um, checking on my phone and other, uh, things I check on uh, it says with the wind chill it feels like 15 I'll tell you man that wind you know how the wind works for me um, so I saved you guys the effort of having to watch me struggle and fight with this thing um, so yeah this is uh, this is where it's gonna go uh, I've got the one tent pole right over here that's gonna be my next step I figured to bring you out for that um, I also just realized that uh, what I did was uh, I put the tent, uh, it's inside out. <laughs> yeah, the tent, it, it's inside out. Um, so here's a nice view of a uh, one tigress iron wall hot tent um, inside out. Fuck me. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna save you the trouble of watching. Um, I'm thinking I could probably just keep the stakes in here, flip it over, and leave them where they are. Yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. Unbelievable. Well, see, this is why you practice with your stuff, and that's what this is. This is me uh, practicing. Yep. Um, I think I'm going to grab some coffee for this one. Man. Yeah, I'm somewhat less than confident about this. Um, <laughs> moving around, uh, you know, I've never had a octagonal tent or a tent with only one pole. Um, you know, I'm, I'm still giving it a shot, but, um, I'm guessing that, I mean, now that I've got it right side in, you can see where the stove jack goes. You can see how it's just kind of flopping around in the wind here, but I don't think I have it properly uh, staked out. So I guess I, I've got to try and do that. Um, we're really not supposed to get any wind today, but of course, you know, I come out here and that's what happens, you know, wind. You know these uh, lines here, um, you know, they cinch or something. I don't know how to do that. I'm amazed I got the pole in. Wait, wait till we get in there and I show you this. Yeah, and I'm, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a, a wood stove in this thing. Um, so yeah, uh, I mean I do have the wood stove. If uh, you guys haven't checked out the uh, one tigress um, tiger roar tent stove video, um, it's here. It's on my channel. You know, scroll down a couple, you'll see it and. Um, that's yeah that's what i'm going to attempt to put in this um but let me see what happens if i try and adjust the stakes here and then uh yeah we'll go from there well it's just the, the green stakes i mean i guess in you know like wintry or you know if it was all snow it'd be cool to be able to see them but since of course you know i decided to clear this out some um you know i can't find them stuff on them whatever but uh, okay let's get in here and I'll show you what I'm talking about uh, so here's the inside um, there's the uh, there's the pole it just it just sits there so that yeah I don't know um, 
and it's just kind of stuck in the ground here um so i don't know how it's gonna go that's where the stove is gonna go i guess um it's got these vents up here which i will get opened up um i'll tell you i'm really glad that i started early today um yeah uh, the other thing you know it, and it's it's kind of roomy in here i did get the uh the inside for this um the uh i don't know what you call it mesh room or whatever so i'm gonna get that and i'm definitely gonna set that up because i want to yeah, I want to give this whole thing, everything a shot. Uh, here's uh, another thing that uh, I've never done. Um, guy lines. I've never used a guy line on a tent before, but I'm thinking that I may have to, you know, like this, pull this out, guy it down, you know. Um, yeah, I'm going to play with this a lot more. And then uh, when I start, you know, when I got it, you know at least so i'm not you know terrified to go inside of it i'll bring you guys out here uh, and uh, show you what i got of course there comes the wind um you know i'm, I'm actually kind of glad i'm getting a little wind just so i can see how this works um at least for the first time uh, we're supposed to get some snow tonight um it's actually supposed to be snowing right now um according to my phone it is snowing right now there's like a 90 percent chance of snow but as you can see that's not happening uh when the wind doesn't blow it's actually pretty comfortable out here and even just being in there under this little bit of shelter um it was considerably warmer than just standing out here like uh, the idiot i am trying to figure this out uh but yeah the other thing is the dogs uh they're going nuts because they're not out here with me um, but now that I got this set up, you know, or at least standing, uh, I'm going to get them and let them come out and check it out. And, you know, hey, at least if it collapses, it'll collapse on them. And, uh, yeah, my girlfriend, uh, it's her day off. So, um, you know, <laughs> sorry, baby. Uh, you're going to have to put up with me and all this stuff. But I'm going to give her a little break from the dogs, uh, grab the guy lines, and sort of, you know, guy this out. So I'm guessing this is pretty much what this is gonna look like. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I'm really not uh, really not confident about this. Uh, and this tent, um, I don't know if I said it before, I'll tell you again. It's the One Tigress Iron Wall Hot Tent. Um, I'll put a link down in the description of the One Tigress site in case you guys wanna check it out. Um, I did get the, uh, I got the inside in here, which actually went in amazingly well. It looks pretty, um, not, not secure. I, I don't know, but I'm just going to have it, you know, like this. Um, no ground cloth, of course, or uh, footprint or whatever you want to call it. So I've got an idea for that. This here is the uh, stove jack, which I ordered, uh, does not come with a tent. Um, you know, that, of course, keeps the price of the tent down. Some people, you know, where's the stove jack? It's a hot tent. Some people understand. Um, I'm really, you know, I, I have no opinion on it. It's going to be one of the few times I really, you know, don't have anything to say. Um, so I am going to use this. I don't need to, uh, but I am just because, you know, I got it. Um, what I've got here is I've got this, this old white cloth but it's it's not big enough to fit under there um what i do have however is this uh this thing that i got uh probably in a battle box years ago one of their like medical type things it's uh it's a stretcher or a litter for people um hopefully i'm not going to need it because i'm going to use it to throw underneath here and see how that works out um again uh, i got the guy lines out these are the guy lines that came with the tent um there were enough of them actually five i'm assuming that's enough you know this one it's all frayed but you know what do you want uh i would definitely if i ever actually figure out how to use guy lines definitely going to replace those with um you know some paracord or some type of uh, better cordage but for now you know first shot with this tent uh, should be sufficient so i'm gonna get this thing in underneath there try and uh, adjust up the inside a little bit 
and then we're gonna get the stove jack in and then uh, I'm thinking I'll probably set up uh, my sleeping system uh, before I get the the stove out here yeah I don't know about these guy lines man I keep looking at them like I said I've never had to use a guy line before in my life any place I've ever been camping I just you know I don't know how I don't know how to use them um, another thing is this tent came with absolutely no instructions nothing at all not even like a piece of paper that said you know hey you bought you know uh, one tigress iron wall tent um, so you know you got to go I mean I went on YouTube tried to figure out how to set it up uh, you know no clue there's a bunch of uh, youtubers though that have these that have used them so if you just put that in Google it will uh, those they'll pretty much show you sort of how to set them up or I guess I don't know um, but yeah this is not a how to set this tent up I'll do that some other day when it's warmer okay I thought better of it um, I'm gonna have my sleep system out here in a minute or two and uh you'll see that uh i decided i'm gonna put this on the inside in here and you know we're just gonna have to see how this goes without a ground cloth i did put that white thing under there just for a little protection uh this is something i really should have thought through but i didn't um again this is first try here comes the wind seems seems sturdy enough all right let's get this uh let's get this stove jack in here so this is one thing I did try out in the house, so I know it fits. I know, uh, do, uh, I know of someone, I should say, that got one of these and the Velcro ripped off. And according to them, the uh, you know, customer service and everything from One Tigress was excellent. And they had no trouble getting a new one okay yeah fatal flaw in my plan um the reason i started this a little later than i wanted to um but still i think early enough in the day that i'll still be able to get out here and enjoy it and do some camping i was waiting for these gloves to come in um with all the other gloves i've got there is no way i would have been able to set this tent up i definitely needed some fingerless gloves did not have any wool fingerless gloves so I got these like, you know, 12 bucks, I think, 10 bucks, Amazon. They fit, they're great. Um, this tent, whatever it's made out of, the waterproofing, this thing is slippery as, I mean, I, I don't even know why. I can't even think of a joke for it. Um, yeah, it just, slippery, man. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, fatal flaw in my plan, trying to roll this up, the Velcro, sticking to those gloves. Here we go, stove jack. I'm gonna save the bag. Pretty nice bag, actually. I am, man, I don't know. Again, I'm not, not confident at all. I'm thinking I definitely should have put this on inside, then set up the tent. That probably would have made more sense since I could have just folded the little flat back down over the top. But you guys all know me. Jesus Christ, this is like, you know, once again, welcome to Outlaw Camp, where you're guaranteed at least once in a viewing that you're gonna see a monkey try and fuck a football. That's basically the way it goes. But yeah, this is something that I definitely, I should have put this on inside, or at least before I set up the tent. Um, yeah, wind, wind's picking up. I don't know. Uh, it's cold. It's a lot colder than I thought. But hey, you know, whatever. It's a hot tent. So let's get this going, man. Get this tent hot. I got a cot. This uh, hitter height cot. Um, you know, I've set it up inside. Just kind of, you know. Some crap all over it already. I don't know what that is. Probably like beefaroni or something. But yeah, I set it up inside, laid on it. You know, I've never slept on it. Believe it or not, I've never actually slept on a cot before. I guess I've always, you know, either been lucky enough where I never had to or unlucky enough to never have one when I needed one. But I thought it would be a pretty cool thing for camping. It was relatively inexpensive. It's pretty sturdy. Uh, then of course I have the uh, climate insulated uh, static V, which you guys all saw in my, um, 
winter hammock camp video. Um, I did learn how to blow it up. <laughs> and yes, it does only take 16 to 20 breaths. Really like 16. It's, yeah. Um, I did that inside though. Um, yeah. So, and then I just wrapped it in my wool blanket. Uh, also got a sleeping bag here. What I'm going to use this time is not Misadventure Alley, believe it or not. This is a Teton Sports. This is supposed to be a zero degree sleeping bag. We'll find out. And yeah, it's it's orange, you know, so I can find my body. Uh, it's pretty comfortable, you know, took it out and everything. So we're gonna let the uh, loft return to this. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's what I'm gonna be sleeping on. Um, now I know if this hot tent works properly, everything goes the way it's supposed to. Uh, I shouldn't need a cot. I mean, I, I shouldn't need the inside of this. This is for summertime to keep the bugs out. And yeah, obviously I got to do some more adjustments, but you know, I'm learning. So I'm also a little bit more suitably garbed than I was when I first came out here. Um, I got my gachi on, uh, the, you know, the high tech ones, moisture wicking and all that. Switched out to these uh, Eddie Bauer pants here. Uh, I got, you know, wool rich uh, shirt on here. And I'm, I'm actually pretty comfortable. Um, so I'm thinking the next thing I should do now that I got this, uh, my sleep system set up. Um, I gotta grab my phone so I can take a couple of pictures of this for uh, my friend and uh, send them over to him. Uh, this, I don't know. I don't know about this. There's a stove jack. I mean, it seems sturdy. Who knows? Um, I guess, yeah, the next thing I'm gonna have to do is get that stove up, up here. It's down in the basement. I'm gonna get it up here and uh, get that in. And, so that's pretty much the next step. I'll, I'll bring you outside if you guys want to see what it's looking like. Um, yeah. How many times can I show you? I'll tell you one thing, man. I'm getting thirsty. It's I, it's like uh, 20 minutes to 2 o'clock. Um, temperature is whatever the hell it is. 20-something. Um, I don't know. I got that thermometer. But, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm wasting time. You know, um... That was another thing. Uh, I really wanted to do this hot tent camp in the front yard. Um, you know, it's flat and everything and trees. I thought it would look cool, but she sort of put the, uh, you know, kibosh on that. She was like, nah, I don't think that's a good idea. And uh, after setting this up here for the first time, I, I think she was right. It's probably good to do it here in the backyard, test it out, and then maybe, you know, do a hot tent camp in the front yard. <laughs> uh, that'd be great. But hey, this is gonna be great, I think. Uh, yeah, and you know, remember, a plan is just a list of things that don't happen. It is pretty nice out here. Moving around, I'm comfortable. So yeah, this is it. I still got it. Uh, the One Tigress um, Tiger Roar <laughs> tent stove. Uh, again, if you haven't seen me, check this whole thing out to get all the info on it and everything. Um, just scroll down and you'll see the video so now i'm gonna attempt to get it set up here and see what happens i'll show it to you when i got it set up all right so i'm guessing that, yeah i'm guessing this is where this is gonna have to go um i got it through here you know it's through here i don't think it should really be sitting up against this too much yeah well, you know, hey, we're going to see what happens. Um, you know, if this becomes like a super insane, some kind of fire hazard or anything, you know, I'll just, I'll bail, man. I got no problem doing that, um, as you guys have seen from my other videos. Uh, another thing I did want to say, though, while I got you out here, um, again, uh, this, uh, the One Tigress uh, Tiger Roar tent stove, um, did not come with a spark arrestor. I'm not dumb enough to try this, uh, especially for my first time without a uh, spark arrestor. So uh, this thing, um, I ended up getting this from Pomali. Pomali, again, I don't know how to pronounce it from uh, Pomali, I'm just going to say. Um, it was a nightmare to even get this thing. Um, this, uh, you know, it says for their titanium stoves, uh, obviously different companies. And, um, I already went through and explained why I got this stove with these pipes that, um, you know, instead of the roller pipe, I won't get into that again. Um, I'm pretty happy with it, uh, from using it before, except for the no spark arrestor thing. 
So, of course, different companies. This would not fit on these stove pipes. Let me show you. Uh, of course, you know, what do I expect? Yeah, well, hopefully that's coming out. Won't fit on there. But, you know, these, whatever. Um, so, you know, what I did was just got out my old magic saw and I sawed off that. And, and it fits on there. Uh, it's still going to be the same length. Um, you know, and even a little bit higher. So we're going to put that up here. And there we go. My uh, 6.88 feet of stovepipe. So I'm guessing that that's pretty much where the stove's got to go. Um, I could have it, you know, tilted a little differently. I might play around with it. Uh, I will say that if this is something that I'm gonna get into really, you know, with the hot tank camping and, and you know, traveling around and everything, cause that stove, as uh, I said before, that weighs uh, like 21 something, you know, 21 and change pounds, 21 pounds and change, whatever the saying is. So that's not something you're gonna be carrying around backpacking or anything, car camping, yeah, it, it's fine. And, you know, I'm not complaining about it. Uh, I just, you know, I wish I had something a little smaller for this tent, but hey, you know, <laughs> wish in one hand, shit in the other, see which one fills up first, right? All right, so yeah, I guess this is, uh, it's pretty much, it's where this thing's gonna go. But yeah, after I get it all adjusted, uh, I'll throw the welding blanket down, move it around. I got all my wood and stuff still down in the house. Um, you know, again, we're backyard camping. Um, that's right there yeah i can go in whenever i want take my time um oh look here comes sassy and i knew it wouldn't be long before you came out here i'm glad i zipped that up uh yeah and you know i'm gonna sit over there we'll see what happens what do you think about this billis you gonna go check that out you gonna go in there and check that out yeah you're not sure i know she needs a haircut um it's just it's been so cold I don't, I don't want to, you know, shave her down and then she won't be able to be out here, you know, hanging out, playing with me, messing around. So, yeah, that's why she looks like, uh, you know, what are those things? Uh, Banthas. She looks like a Bantha from, you know, Star Wars. All right, guys. Uh, you can't really see right now, um, which is a good thing. Uh, you can't see any smoke because I'm burning all this uh, hardwood. I got the wood stove going. Um, and, you know... Again, if you guys want to see, you know, how to use this wood stove, how to work it, um, I still got that video up of when I first tried this out. I can actually feel some heat coming off of this. This is nice. Um, what I got here, um, this was just my, uh, you know, tinder, that um, shredded cardboard stuff, some newspaper. Uh, I got some uh, wood, you know, that I've been processing down in the basement. And I got some of these things here. I got six of these at the home despot for, um, I think, 14 bucks on sale. So, you know what? I'm going to try them and see how they work. I'm not a big fan of these, but, you know, I don't have a lot of wood. And I got some more, you know, I was a little smarter. Got some, uh, you know, really small Tinder type stuff. Uh, she's, uh, she, she's going pretty good, man. I like the window. I haven't even had to clean it yet. I mean, I got the, dam you know, this front damper uh, full full open. I'm going to close it just a little bit there. Yeah, this ring, it doesn't really get hot, but it's still a little, still a little difficult to grab, as you can see. You know, I could use a knife or something or that tool that came with the stove. Um, my buddy, uh, Mike Dangler, uh, PP Dangler Air Guns, he's like, put a piece of paracord on it or whatever. I'm going to come up with something for that. Um, got the uh, rear damper over here. That's full open because I want to, you know, get some coals and stuff. Uh, here's the other thing. The thing is, I don't, I should be kneeling on this pad I made more because my pants are getting wet. But um, <laughs> the mesh insert here is great. It fits and everything. But you know what? I, I don't need it. It's not serving any purpose at, at all, really. And, uh, you know, I might as well hot tank camp, <laughs> you know, without it. Um, I just, 
you know, set it up, obviously, because um, I got it, you know. I wanted to see how it worked. I really wish I would have, uh, you know, taken it down. Definitely should have taken it down before I started the stove. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around, like, I think you can see kind of, you know, over there. I don't know. Let's get in there. Oh, man, the heat from the stove. This is going to be great. But you can see, you know, over there, like, those hooks. I'm just going to unhook it. And then uh, what I'm going to try and do, and hopefully I won't, you know, burn myself or anything. Uh, luckily, I'm not drunk or anything like that yet. Um, I'm just going to try and take this off slide it under the cot in the mat and just take it out put it away because um you know i don't i don't need it and then i'll have a little bit more room inside here to film and um you know hang out and stuff uh because i you know i didn't bring anything out here I didn't bring out any food or anything i'm not sure what i'm gonna do i um, mean yeah, i got an mre i got some other dehydrated meals i got real food too you know we'll see what happens you know this thing works great uh cook cook top here and it'll throw a little snow yeah look at that oh man this is yeah hopefully that came out i don't know you can always do it again um you know the welding blanket i did set down just because and look that was probably a good idea uh, you can see it well that's just steaming from underneath but you know these embers on here um again you don't need this uh, in the winter or at least i don't you know maybe i have a scorched path uh, or patch of lawn or whatever you guys have seen my lawn in other videos if you haven't i really don't care what the what it looks like uh the um what do you call this here the uh, spark arrester that i've gone on and on about you know it does have the uh, uh tie off points here so i could have actually guy lined this out uh i don't think it's gonna you know be that windy where i'm gonna have to worry about it but, of course, uh, we'll find out if it does end up like that. So, yeah, uh, what I'm going to do is try and get the uh, mesh inside tent insert out in the house. I'm going to save you guys the trouble of, uh, you know, watching me do that. Plus, um, you know, I got the camera in there. I ain't going to be able to move around and do it. So, thanks for sticking with me, man. I'm having a good time. I'm having a lot more fun than I thought I was going to have. And, uh... Can't wait to get out here get some food going hang out you know a couple drinks and whatever you know just do my thing so yeah all right let me get to that uh, so you can see maybe some snow starting to fall it's uh 25 degrees right now um i'm not gonna tell you what it feels like um so yeah i had it zipped up just to see what it'd be like when i come back in here and the stove should be going okay. And yes, I took out the uh, holy Chicago. It's fucking toasty in here. Man alive. This is nice. This is so much nicer than I thought it was going to be. Wow. Yup. It works. It works, people. Holy crap man it's nice in here and I, I don't have this thing cranking not much just you know some coals uh, I'm gonna throw some more wood in there I actually think I'm gonna try one of these uh, next uh, I'm just gonna let that go down a little bit before I try it um, mesh insert um, which I think you guys can see oh yeah another thing I didn't say before I get into it these vents up here uh, actually work as advertised. I'll show you those from the outside in a minute. But yeah, the uh, mesh insert I took out, you know, which I don't need. Um, I noticed though that with the snow, my cot was kind of, probably see some snow over there kind of sticking out, you know, still needs adjustments. It's a learning thing. But um, yeah, I got that out, no problem. Um, <laughs> didn't even, you know, didn't even come close to the stove. So that's pretty cool. You know, that's a pretty cool thing to know um, that you could do that if you need to. You shouldn't, you know, just set up your, you know, set up your tent the right way and uh, you won't have to worry about it. But yeah, that's why I'm practicing. So yeah, I'm going to open up that damper so I can get one of those Envirologs in there. 
Um, but anyway, yeah, back to, I don't know if you can see the singe parts. After getting that whole mesh thing down with no problem, not having any uh, difficulty or anything, this post, um, yeah, so, you know, what do I do? Um, I grab this, this handle to try and move the stove, you know, with these on, burn my fingers. And I got gloves right here, just went, you know, is that the, uh, I don't even know where I was, home despot, I think, because I, did, I didn't want to go to Lowe's, uh, you know, whatever, you know, if I'm not gonna, you know, I shouldn't complain about stuff and then, and then do it. You know, I complain about home despot all the time and then i still go there so don't listen to me um you, you guys already know that don't do anything i do but yeah got my uh three dollar gloves got them right here should have used those but yeah i got a lot more room in here and it's awesome so uh yeah i'm gonna try and sit in here for a minute before the dogs try and get out here and zip this up and see how that goes uh i just went empty out my pockets yeah i got my water gel burn kit um just in case matches i'll leave in my pocket what else i got in here oh man alive oh yeah uh, i got my uh blaze defense fire suppression system pulled this out of my uh, ammo can tinder box you know ju just in case i have one of these i'm actually thinking about getting some more of these um you know they could oh my god this thing look at this uh, made in 2016 who knows if this is even gonna work five years old you know like um uh you know i'm giving away that uh the sog uh, survival hawk um if you don't know about that uh scroll down through my list of videos and check that out um 250 subscribers i'll be giving that away but so i i have had this stuff for that long and i've never used it Obviously, I've been lucky enough where I've never had to use this. Um, I I don't even know how much these cost. I'm going to do some research and get some more of these. Because these are nice to carry around. I think I could have it in here. And, you know, makes me feel better. So, brought that out. Um, yeah, of course, got some smokes. But, uh, I brought some beers. Um, so, you know, it's almost time. Um, yeah, now, I know guys uh people you know that have been watching my stuff and thank you i really appreciate it um my subscribers and stuff you know new subscribers anybody who's just jumping on board if you're going through my old videos uh when i did my little boat trip uh you know video that wasn't originally supposed to be a youtube thing but now it's on there it's you know it's cool check it out um anyway uh i got some of this uh this uh, paradox brewery these guys actually are in the adirondack park um i know that i gave them a hard time in that video by saying you know because it says a new england style ipa and i'm like if you're an adirondack brewery why are you making stuff in new england style but you know whatever i apologize for that i shouldn't have given them so much shit because this is a pretty decent beer I really wanted like their lager that they have, but they didn't have it at the store and I wasn't gonna be driving all over, you know, fucking creation, you know, just to find it. So I grabbed these, they're pretty good, and you give them another shot. Yeah, I got, I don't know, I got the vents open. I'm gonna check on this vent. This doesn't seem, seems like it should pop open a little bit more. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll take you outside and show you those. Okay, so coming over here, um, you guys can see these uh, vents you know very important because you want to have your air circulating i do not have a carbon monoxide uh, detector i'm not really too worried about it but you know what i'll get one one of these days so that's how that works uh, if you can see in there uh, let's take you over here yeah man i had so much fun digging this out yesterday that's why i'm glad i'm glad i'm out here now actually yeah, you know, trying this. See, this one's down a little bit. I think that if I just kind of focus, okay, this is you know fucking ingenious what these one tigers people did with with that. Um, so yeah, there we go. Yeah, the whole point was you know I probably shouldn't smoke in there, but it is a tent, you know, with an open bottom that I'm burning a wood stove in. So hey, man, you know, probably shouldn't smoke anyway, but at least I know I can if I want to. Yep. Oh, Grillis is here. She's like, hey, brother. Hey, there's Grillis. What's going on? 
You're not sure about this at all, are you? There's Lacey, too. Yeah. Uh, what do you girls think about this? You want to come in? You can come in the tent, hop up on the bed. I'm, I'm zipping this up, so if you guys want to come in, you got to come in, you know? I'm making YouTube stuff here. Come on, you guys are used to it. Come on, you can come in. Here, come on, come up here. Here, come on, get up here. Jump up on the sleeping bag thing. Go, go for it. You can do it. There you go, look at that. It's awesome. Laces, you want to come in? Come on. You can come in. There you go. Yeah, and you're not sitting on my, you're not sitting on my mat. Hey, right, hop up there. Hop up there with your sister. Yeah, oh yeah, there we go. That's great. Yeah, oh boy. That's a brand new sleeping bag, you know, but. Oh, what do I expect? Oh, I am loving this. Why didn't I get into this years ago? Holy cow. But anyway, you guys all know what time it is. That's right. First of the day, fellas. to do so. Rotten attorney. Ah. Now I had to drink to uh, Nate do so because he's the guy who got me into this hot tent thing. He got, um, I know he got this, uh, this one tigress iron wall tent. Um, Right around Christmas time, um, yeah, I think he got a, a pommelie stove. I, I'm not sure; it doesn't matter. And uh, you know, I started checking him out, and you know, I talked to him. I was just talking to him a little while ago. Um, sent some pictures of the setup, but yeah, this is all his fault. The reason I'm doing this is because of him. Um, called him my rotten attorney because back in the days when uh, I needed to have a an attorney. Um, he was it, but um, yeah, he's one of my best friends. Uh, this guy lives, uh, he actually lives in upstate New York, uh, not central New York where I live. I'm not going to go off on that rant again, but you know what, dude? Here's to you. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks for getting me into this because it's warm in here. I got a beer. You know, oh, man. Thanks, dude. I can't wait to see you again. You know, someday, man, it's been a long time. I don't even know if he's watching this or he's going to watch it. I assume he's one of my subscribers. Who knows? But, yeah, man, do so. Holy Chicago. It is nice. And this Beaver Bite IPA is good. It's good. I mean, I think I said it was good before in another video. Everybody knows about these things. This is pretty hefty. This is not what I wanted. What I did want was, um, I wanted some of those, like, compressed sawdust blocks in, in things. Um, I saw them at Lowe's, uh, pretty inexpensively. Uh, not the Lowe's I would normally go to. Lowe's I was at with my girlfriend when I was looking for stuff for the stove i went to the bass pro you guys all know that story because you're watching my stuff but um yeah so i ended up at a home dust pit i had a box of six of these don't work out in this stove doesn't work out great whatever man i'll you know burn them down at you know the outlaw camp burn them outside in the fireplace they're they're not going to go to waste not for you know like the 15 bucks or whatever i paid for six of these which I think is uh, a pretty good price. It's hefty. These are uh, you know, made from 100% recycled. Oh, laces, you just came back. Hello. I'm glad you can just come in and out, you know, whenever you want. That's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Can you hear that? Like the rain, it's not snow. Um, it's definitely like a rainy type snow. Um. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, it's definitely made from some recycled cardboard and stuff. They don't smell too great. Hopefully it doesn't stink in here. But if it does, I'll just open up the door. We'll let it air out. We'll just use wood for the rest of the night. Um, you know, I said tear along the seam. Of course it gets mangled. You know how everything is when I, when I do it. Nothing works the way it's supposed to. 
Oh, fuck. Man alive. Ah, yeah, look at that. This is probably my biggest fucking disaster of the day. Or give me my biggest disaster of the day. Beer just fell off of there. Man, this is... That's why you practice with your stuff. Figure out how to set things up in here. This thing's probably freaking wasted. I had like, you know, three, four sips of this. Yeah, shaking up. Flat as fuck. Ah, that's disgusting now. Um, luckily I got more. Damn. Um, I always say all the time, two is one, one is none. So you definitely got to bring more than one beer with you. Yes. Nasty thing. I'm just going to pop it right in here. Whole thing. So that's another pretty cool thing about this stove. This thing will fit in here. Again, people, don't do anything that I do. Don't do it the way I do it. Oh, you can hear that taking off already. Okay, close the door. So we don't know what that's gonna smell like. So let's see uh, if you can see through the window. Oh yeah, you see how that's taking off. So that's good, so we're gonna see how that works. Um, I'm just gonna open this up just so that paper burns off, I think. I don't know, you guys you know, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But yeah, I'm gonna have to get another beer now because I can't believe I fucking Dump that one and wasted it. But, you know, whatever. Okay. Yeah, that seems all right. Let's just and do that like that. Yeah, man, I'm dry. Of course, there's a plane coming by, but just so you can hear, there is precipitation. Oh, somebody's coming out here. All right. Let's go investigate. It's probably a girlfriend. Um, I have to give her the bad news I'm going in to get another beer. Oh, wait, you want to do me a favor? Yeah. Will you grab one of those beers that's behind you in the snowbank? Yeah, because the one I had, I dumped. Uh, we'll get the. I open it or you open it? No, I'll, I'll open it. Is Grilly in there? Yeah. Yeah, right here. Like, oh, the tent you meant. I thought you meant the beer. Yeah. So, let's see. All right, look at this. All right, let's shut this off and uh, let's see how this works with two people. This should be interesting. You don't have to zip it up. I'll take that away. You can have a Are seat on that. Huh? Are you going to fall on the fire? No. You know that? Yeah, no. Nah. Nah, I see. Yeah, all right. Let's zip it up and get some heat. Okay, guys. So that's, uh, and girls or whatever, that's probably all you're going to get of the girlfriend for right now. Uh, she did hang out uh, for a couple minutes, um, agreed that it is quite warm in here, and brought me this beer from outside so I didn't have to go get it. Um, so that, that was pretty cool. Um, you know how it goes. Some people want to be on YouTube, some people don't. Whatever. A couple things I'm noticing. Um, the damper on this... On this bad boy over here on the stove. Oh, man, don't get old, kids. Don't get old. It ain't no fun. But this thing, uh, oh, okay. Well, yeah, now it's working all right. But see, it falls like that. So I'm going to have to put on some gloves and not these and get out the old leather man, tighten that up a little bit. Um, I still got that Enviro log going in there. I'm just going to kind of, I want to keep it like full open. And that does get hot. So maybe, yeah, there we go. Oh, I just brought this uh, uh, out here from inside. I don't even know if you can see that, if anything's coming out on there. Um, I don't know. But it's saying that it's 62. I mean, it was like 70 in my house, so obviously, yeah, it's dropping. But I'm gonna set that there, or I'm gonna attempt to set it here. Yeah, um, let's see. Will that stand? All right, yeah, so I'm gonna set that there. Um, now the outdoor thing that, where it says it's 25 there, which you probably can't see, um, that's way up on my porch, that sensor. I don't think really think it reaches that far. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't think it reaches that far. So, man, 
you know, I'm sitting on this cot and it's nice. It's a good level. Here's another thing about winter camping, uh, as far as, you know, staying hydrated. Um, hopefully everybody knows that, um, it's a lot harder to tell when you're thirsty or getting dehydrated in the winter than it is in the summer. So seriously, stay hydrated. Whatever the climate, you want to stay hydrated. Um, I've got a new canteen that I just got in today when I got these gloves. I'll show you guys that. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, you know, it's an old like army style canteen. Uh, I got that new nail jean there that I told you about. I'm going to bring that in. Uh, just because um, I'm not sure I washed out that metal one completely good enough um right, so i'm gonna drink out of that one use that other water to boil stuff but yeah staying hydrated this here that is the beer the beer that i spilled inside the tent uh i dumped that out that right there that's my pee um so you know it's not really uh yellow at all not that yellow just enough so you can tell something there so that's pretty cool so you guys can tell i'm kind of you know hydrated uh there's some water here on that oh man one thing i realized is that you know banging around anytime you hit this tripod you know it sounds terrible um yeah shake some of the snow off of here it's holding up pretty good these vents pipe don't look that bad yeah it's looking good the thermometer thing over there man some snow falling um like i said it's almost five uh, I'm not sure when the sun sets uh, or maybe it's already set. I don't know, but I'm thinking it's usually I probably got like another hour of daylight or so So we'll see how the filming goes in there But let's get inside while there's still some light or at least enough light, you know coming through the tent that I can You know do some stuff Ugh. Even with that door open It's pretty nice and warm in here uh, Shoot I meant to grab something from in there to drink that wasn't beer um well whatever let's go in here and check this out that thing seems to be holding up okay um so let's see what's going on here uh yeah i guess if you pay attention to what you're doing you're probably not going to burn your tank this thing uh, still holding up good it's been going for a while you know man I'm happy with this oh yeah yeah I'll run back in and grab you know something to drink in a minute but let's get in here okay tell you what it's nice and warm in here um it doesn't really smell like wood it smells more like uh you know burning wax cardboard but beer is still cold um, yeah, I also, when I went inside, uh, switched up the vest. I figured I'd go, like, full, you know, Woolrich with the Woolrich vest. Uh, brought out a little magazine to read here. Uh, True West. It's just, oop, hold on. Let's see. It's got the address label on here. Um, yeah, hey, maybe someday, you know, there'll be people that'll, like, send me stuff. I'll have to get a post office box or something, but... I don't know, whatever. Okay, now I ripped that off. Got my uh, new True West magazine. I think that came in yesterday. Yes, I do subscribe to this. It's the only magazine that I subscribe to that I actually pay for. Um, Bass Reeves. If you don't know about Bass Reeves, man, Google Bass Reeves. You'll find out. Or go to True West. Uh, probably truewest.com. I don't know. But yeah, go there and read about Bass Reeves. So I got a little bit of reading material. Um... Oh, yeah, I also brought out, you know, <laughs> remember when I was outside saying, oh, I didn't bring out anything to drink or whatever? I did. I brought out two cans, the little mini cans of Coca-Cola. So I'm going to just set those over there. Hopefully it'll, they'll stay cool. Uh, what else I got in here? Uh, my matches, I'm going to leave those in there. Um, some more cigarettes. Yeah, it's just what I need, right? Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I brought out my little uh, bushcraft knife um, in case I need to, you know, the fire goes out or something. I got to mess around in the fire. This is uh, actually a knife. It was a knife kit, like build your own knife thing. Came with the two wooden blocks, screws and everything, and the knife blank or whatever it's called. Uh, this is something I made, um, God, man, not last year, uh, two years ago, I think. 
Yeah, probably like two years ago. I don't know, whatever. Right before the pandemic hit, I remember uh, the last place we went, me and my buddy Dave and um, that dude Chris that showed up in one of my other videos, the Winter Hammock Camp video. If you haven't watched that, check that out. But uh, he was supposed to come with us. We went and saw Utica Comets uh, hockey game. And I remember before we left that day, I was actually working on this knife. Here comes Lacey distracting me. Whatever, she'll figure out her way in or if she wants to come in, right? But yeah, it's my little bushcrafting knife. Uh, we'll get into that someday. I don't even have a sheath for it. I'm using a piece of cardboard wrapped up in electrical tape. But yeah, that might come in handy. Uh, whatever, I got lighter, my other knife. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much all set. Um, yeah, what, what else is this? Oh yeah, of course the uh, winter hammock camp thing. The uh, Columbia River Knife and Tool Homefront by Ken Onion. My absolute favorite knife. See, I am carrying it and using it a lot. Sassy's out here. So, all right. Yeah, that's cool. Girlfriend's calling the dogs. I hear him running. This might work out pretty good. I hope you guys can hear that. I'm going to try and be quiet so they get inside. Wow, uh, the wind just started blowing a little bit and it just like got considerably cooler in here. Um, let's see here. I don't know if this will come out or not. Um, but outside, 24 degrees. In this tent, 55 so, I'm going to open up this damper a little bit more here. Um, but anyway, yeah. So, okay. Uh, Stowaway Gourmet. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video. There is an outdoor gear review. Um, Luke and Susie. This is something that these guys used to eat um, quite a bit in their videos. Uh, you guys know I tried Mountain House before. It didn't work out good for me. Um, and then I tried these because of a Groundhog Day sale and they somehow found my email and gave me like a discount thing. So I ordered a couple of these. Uh, whatever the one was that I tried before, uh, maybe I'll look it up. It was delicious. But right now what I got here is the Wild Boar Bacon Bean Stew. Oh man. Uh, boar Bacon Great northern beans, herbs, and vegetables in a brandy reduction. That sounds good to me. I mean, that other stowaway gourmet I had was probably one of the best things I've ever eaten in my life. Man, the temperature is really dropping in here. I don't know what's going on with this stove. I'm going to open this bad boy up some more here. Let's, uh, let's open that up full. Um... I don't have a measuring cup, but we're just going to wing it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to try it. This is another thing I've been wanting for a long time. Um, canteen, you know, this metal canteen, old school, army type canteen. It is full of water. Uh, came with, um, you know, a cup. Thing fits in the bottom here like this. Uh, another cool thing, this cup. If I can figure out how to work it. Uh, uh, is that how it works? I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, it slides in here. Whatever. Yeah, we'll show you this later. So it's got this cup. Uh, this is uh, stainless steel, not aluminum. Um, some people don't like aluminum. I don't know. I don't, I don't know enough about it to have an opinion. Uh, but I know that I can boil water in this, heat stuff up in this if I need to. But I don't need to. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty excited that I got this. This canteen fits in the cup. It's got this cool pouch. Uh, you know, pretty soft inside. I wouldn't say it's insulated. Also came with this uh, old military style web belt. Maybe we'll play with that later. Because to be honest with you guys, um, you know, I, I didn't even have breakfast today. I got up. And I was just 
really excited to get out here and everything. Um, yeah, I think I ate a little bit of cheese curd during the day. So I was making some uh, poutine the other days. But whatever. Enviro log, uh, you can see it's still burning in there. But I'm not really feeling a lot of heat kicking off this stove. But you can kind of hear the water's getting ready. I hear some creatures. Oh, look at this. Look at the creature. She must know food's coming. Hey, Grillis. Yeah. She must know food's coming. They're sassy. What are you doing, girl? What's up, Grillis? Well, let me show you what this one looks like. If you can see it. I don't know. Um, use this. My wand here. Yeah. Okay, you can kind of see. Uh, looks like, you know, the stove top stuffing thing again. Whatever, that's not really what we're concerned with. What it looks like before it's cooked. Whoa, you really gotta, you know, really gotta try it. Gets the smell. Not, not much, uh, not much smell off of this, but what is coming off of it is good. All right, and just pour it in. I don't know, I guess I'll just, whoa, you can see the steam coming off of that. I guess I'll just cover it up. If it, you know, looks like it needs more water after that, then I'll add more water, right? Oh man, it's smelling good already. Holy Chicago, that is smelling good. All right, let's mix her up here. I smell a little like a vegetable type smell coming through. Yeah, all right, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, God made dirt, dirt don't hurt, he kills, throw it back in the grill. All right, seal this up here. Um, what do we got? We gotta wait, uh, how long here? Uh, 10 minutes. Um, okay, so ingredients, the main ingredient Great Northern Beans, whatever those are. I don't know. Boar bacon. Boar bacon. So this is, oh, it says wild boar bacon beef stew. I thought it was wild boar and bacon and bean stew. But it's not. It's wild boar bacon and bean stew. Um, so uh, wild boar bacon or boar bacon, wild boar meat from feral swine. Well, that makes it sound delicious, don't it? Um, yeah, cured with water, salt, something I can't read because I ain't got my glasses on. Bunch of stuff, nobody knows what it is anyway. Then it's got some uh, celery, mushrooms, onion, brandy, uh, olive oil, tomato paste, garlic, Smoked water. Smoked water. That's interesting. Sea salt and spices. Smoked water. Hmm. Kind of curious about smoked water. I really want to throw some wood in there. I don't know. Maybe I will. Yeah, when you get down to like this level, cold. It's cold. But, you know, so far. I'm pretty happy with uh, the way the way this whole uh, misadventure is going. You know, it's um, like most of my things. It's a learning experience. So okay, it's been ten minutes. Oh, I hear some I hear some sandiness in the bottom of this. Definitely don't think I put enough water in it. But hey, let's stir it up and let's see. Doesn't smell as good as that last, uh, that last one. Woo! That's hot. Pour some more water into it. And give her, give her another stir. Give it another stir. I mean, it smells alright. Uh, it smells very, uh, like, vegetable-y. I don't know. I was really looking forward to this one. This is the one I wanted to try. Um, not as much as I wanted to try that, uh, the bison one, and that one ended up being freaking amazing. So, alright, put some more water in, I stirred it up, uh, push in here, I'll let that shit for 
another uh, minute or so. Let's see how what we got on the spoon here. What this tastes like. Does this even work? This headlamp? Yeah. Do you guys see that at all? Yeah, let's see. Looks very cheesy. Ooh. Ooh. Mmm. Oh, man. Mmm. Holy shit. Honestly, this, um, this one, it smells terrible. Honestly. It just, it don't smell good at all. I'm trying to be nice to Stowaway Gourmet because the last one was so good. This one smells terrible, but it tastes really, uh, really good. Wow, does it taste good. Um, there's the feet. Again, I'm not trying to make this, you know, a Tarantino thing. Um, you guys want to watch Once in a Time, or Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, if you want to see feet shit. Um, at least my feet are in socks. And you guys all know, man. Protect your feet. Protect your feet. These boots, these uh, Carolina, I don't even know if you can see them. Um, i crank this up. These uh, Carolina Thinsley, whatever. I don't even know what gram it is. Uh, you can see down there. Oh, 600 gram. Probably said that these boots, man. Uh, these Carolina boots are uh, at least um, I got these in 2007. Now, you guys all know math is not my strong suit. I got my letters, but my numbers ain't so good. So, this being 2021, what is that? Three would be, you know, 2010, 11. So these boots are like 14 years old, but they have held up. I've replaced the laces once. That's all I did with them. These boots here, these are great boots. These Carolina, whatever, loggers, I don't know what they're called. You can't even see. I don't know why I'm messing around with that. Yeah, you can kind of see what that looks like. Um... It does, whoa, dropped a little on the hand. That's hot. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's, um, you know, let's give this a shot here. Hmm. Holy shit. No lie. This, uh, I'm sure you can't even see this. But, this boar bacon, whatever, actual chunk of it, it's not reconstituted whatever. Um, I think it's actually a real, just dehydrated piece of boar bacon. It's good. Is it great? No, no, it's not great. Um, a bison one that was great that's not great but it's pretty good I don't drink a lot of soda um, so I'm going to say um, if I was doing an actual review of this stuff, which I, I feel like I should do someday. Um, out of 10, that um, with the bison one that I had before, I would give that one like a 7 out of 10. This one, it's like a 6 out of 10. And that's pretty huge for me. Okay, there you go. You see what it looks like. Looks like mush. Don't look good. Tastes a lot better than it looks. I will tell you that. And the bacon that you're getting out of this, uh, 
the bison or uh, boar, the boar bacon that you're getting in it. Big chunks of it, and it's good. It's good. 545 calories. Uh, I know that other one had like 700 and something. This one, 545. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it says two servings. Yeah, right. It's like half a serving. The reality. Okay, man, when that wind blows, it's cold. Mmm. Oh, you know what? It's really good. Yeah, um, Sassy's in here. Lacey just went outside. We are going someplace? Oh, okay. Bye. That was my, uh, hang on, I'm a nice normal guy voice. So I gotta tell you, man, after two of these, uh, Stowaway Gourmet things, I highly recommend these guys. Um, you know, Stowaway Gourmet, if you guys ever want to sponsor anybody, I'm your man. You gotta get in line behind Lipton, but, yeah, this is good, um, there's no way I'm going to eat all this right now because, you know, I'm me. I want to get the stove cranking. I want to get it hot in here. But you want to try some of this? You want to try some uh, wild boar bacon? Now, let's see if I can fish some out of here. I don't know where your sister is. Oh, oh very good. This stuff is good. Not excellent, but very good. Mm. Here's the other one. Okay. Mm. Here's a little piece of boar bacon for you. Maybe you can. A little piece of boar bacon for you. What do you think about that? She's like, yeah. Fuck invasive species, right? Kill them fucking boars. They taste that good. Mmm. Very good. Stowaway Gourmet, highly recommend. Um, even if you gotta pay full price, I would pay full price for one or two of these. I do have another one inside. It's like some kind of chicken one. We'll get into that someday, uh, but not today. Okay, so just a quick update. Uh, those, uh, the Envirologs, whatever. Yeah, put off heat for, uh, you know, an hour and then after that they just turn into useless ash so this stuff here this I, I had to pull some of this out so I get some wood in there so I get some heat going um, I think it's probably better off to just invest in like wood or cut wood even use soft wood it probably be all right you know I don't know if it was you know like 30 degrees maybe or something like that 40 something to throw in there just to let it burn but for real, like, cold temperatures and this, uh, I mean, I don't know what real hot tent camping is, but for, you know, this is probably as real as it's going to get for me. But for real stuff like that, man, don't even mess around with those. Just use wood. But so far, still pretty successful. I'm having fun, having a good time, not ready to give up. So, all right, outlaws and campers. Um... Yeah, it's still me. It's um, it's like eight o'clock now. The Envirolog, that thing. Um, after you know a while, not even three hours, it just sort of compressed and burned into this like um, pile of like uh, mush, you know, and just wasn't wasn't burning or anything. You know, you poke it, and then it's shooting. You know, like cardboard embers and stuff up out. I do not recommend those for a wood stove like this in this tent. And I think that's just because maybe the the stove isn't big enough. I don't know. You shouldn't be burning cardboard in a wood stove anyway. 
I'm going to say just use wood. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. I got some more wood. And, um, you know, now I'm getting some heat in here. It's, uh, yeah, 22 outside. It's 50 degrees in here right now. Um, I'm going to give this beer a shot. Um, honestly, I'm pretty comfortable in here. Uh, for not knowing what I'm doing, um, I'm, I'm actually really comfortable. I did switch it up a little bit. Um, you know, here's the stove over here and I moved my head or you know, the head of my sleeping bag up here uh, which you know I should have done in the first place but I wasn't really sure I was thinking that if I had you know my head down here where it was before uh, you know it'd be easier to get up and put wood in the stove it's gonna be a little difficult but you know over here I, I don't know I don't know you know I haven't done this yet, so we'll see. If this thing stays up all night and it works out, that'll be great. Um, we're supposed to get some more snow. We'll see what happens. We've already gotten some snow, some rain and everything. I'm dry. The waterproof thing on this, you know. Check out the specs if you're, you're that interested. It's, it's waterproof. I'm going to throw some more wood in here. Um... I'm not really going through as much wood as I thought I was going to, but I'm still going through some wood. Uh, so I'm going to throw some more wood in there. Um, Steve Wallace, uh, you know, camping with Steve, talk about it all the time, hunker down, step two, all that stuff. He um, posted uh, another uh, video today. So I'm just going to kind of hang out in here. I'm going to watch that. I got me, uh, I got a Molson Canadian left. I bought these, um, you know, uh, I think it was President's Day, which was this past Monday. It was also uh, Canada's Flag Day. So, you know, got some Molson Canadian. Uh, I'm going to tell you I'm not a Habs fan because I'm a Leafs fan. But, um, you know, I don't like Labatt's. I do not like Labatt Blue. It just tastes like sugar water to me. So, uh, I'm a Molson guy. I wish it still made Molson export, but... Those days are long gone. You know, the girlfriend's uh, not really, you know, opposed to any of this. She was out here, checked it out. And she's like, yeah, you know, you guys sleep out there tonight? And I'm like, yeah, I, I'm, you know, I'm going to try. Um, which is cool. I mean, uh, she's probably just lonely or whatever. And, you know, want some loving or something like that. But, <laughs> you know, I'm old and I'm camping, so... And I think it's a Thursday, so I don't know, whatever that means. All right, thanks for sticking with me this far. You know, um, if you guys like this, you know, kind of thing, um, or whatever it is that you're supposed to say, you know, subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, you know, like. Yeah, all my subscribers, you know, start liking these videos, man. Uh, share them, share them with people. I got that giveaway coming up when I hit 250 subscribers the only way that that's gonna happen is um, you know if uh, my faithful and loyal fans you know tell people about it get them to subscribe so uh, yeah you know thanks for sticking with me um, like I said right now it is uh, uh, 10 30 um, let's see it's 22 degrees outside, feels like 9. In here, it is 49. Feels like 49. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to stuff this thing with some wood. Yeah, hopefully you can see how that's working. Um, I think that if I, uh, you know, Shove some wood in there. We should be all set. And um, we're going to spend the night out here. Uh, man, I had like one more beer left. And I think I left it outside. So I'm going to have to go get that. Yeah, so it's like uh, almost 11 o'clock. A few minutes before 11. Uh, the wind blowing through here is pretty chilly. Uh, we got 
It says 22 degrees outside. Look down my phone, says it feels like six. So yeah, six degrees outside. Uh, this thing says it's 48 degrees right about this level. Uh, what I got going on in here, um, I threw a bunch of wood in here, uh, letting that crank up. Uh, ain't gonna lie, you know, I got a, I got a little buzz on. If I didn't have a little buzz on, I wouldn't be sleeping out here. I got one more beer here with me that's been outside. I thought I had more beer than that. I don't know where it went. I can't even get the fucking... Okay, there we go. I got the top off of this. I really am not that drunk. Um, but yeah, I'm going to drink some of this. Um, mmm. There's ice chunks in that beer. So, yeah, it probably really is that cold outside. Ah, fuck. Wood stove is a uh, cranking. You know, it's like I never fucking used a wood stove before. Um, maybe it's just because I never used one in a tent. Outside it is 22 degrees and it feels like um, four. So it's four degrees. You know, uh, whatever it feels like, that's the temperature. I already said this before in one of my other videos. You know, with the wind chill and all that stuff. Whatever it is, whatever it feels like, that's the temperature. So it's four. Inside here it is. 50 at like this level so down here where I'm gonna be sleeping it's significantly colder but that's where I'm sleeping mm. I don't want to drink this anymore because it's so full of ice I'm just gonna you know what I'm just gonna dump it over there so in case I got a piss and I don't want to go outside of the tent I got an empty can to piss in which we all know is a terrible idea. Yeah. Last look at the uh, Tiger Roar tent stove before I go to sleep. Uh, I'm gonna, I got that damper. It's probably where I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna just kinda, oh man, that's gonna be hot. Uh, well, let's see. Let's see how hot it's, it really is. Yeah, it's hot, man. This is, don't, like I said, don't do anything I do. Just want to close that just a little bit. Uh, so that's where I got it. Uh, hopefully that won't just close down and smoke me out. And there we go. Uh, it's burning pretty good. Let's see if I just kind of close this. A little more. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, it's kicking off some heat. It's up to 51. All right, guys. So thank you, Outlaws. Thank you, campers. I am going to uh, hit the sack. And um, whenever I wake up to, you know, do whatever it is, put wood in the stove or get up to pee or whatever, I'll uh, bring you back with me. So thanks for sticking with me so far. Let's just see where this goes, man. All right, so good night, and uh, I'll see you later. Uh, it's about uh, 1.30 in the morning. I've been trying to sleep in this sleeping bag down here. I had to put some more wood in the stove. And it's, uh, you know, 50 degrees in here right now. Still says 20 outside, feels like six. But, um, yeah, the sleeping bag. It's ridiculous. This is not a zero degree sleeping bag. This sleeping bag uh, down here. Yeah, there's hamburger or whatever. He's dead, basically, because of how cold the sleeping bag is. I actually feel warmer outside of the sleeping bag than I do in it. Uh, hey, outlaws and campers. It's uh, 6 o'clock. Says he's out here. Uh, you probably can't see me. Um, I got a piss like a racehorse. So, uh, I'm going to do that. Then I'm, I'm going back to sleep. All right, guys. Uh, girls. 
I was a little shaky because I left the tripod in the uh, in the hot tank, so I got to grab that. Uh, we got some snow. Um, let's see here. I'm just gonna do a quick walk around. So again, sorry about the shakiness, but uh, the tent survived. Apparently, it was uh, it was pretty bad last night, um, weather-wise. I I would say uh, there's a bunch of snow on the bottom of the tent here. This probably would have been nicer last night <laughs> when the wind was whipping through to keep me a little warmer. Um, but yeah, man, it looks like the thing held up pretty well. I am still alive. I made it till uh, six o'clock this morning in, in the tent. And then uh, my girlfriend, she was uh, pretty concerned because um, of the weather and stuff. And of course, yeah, my phone was on silent in the tent. Yeah, probably not smartest thing for me to do. I mean, it was also zipped up in the sleeping bag, so I wouldn't have been able to get to it. But she was, you know, texting me and, you know, I, I, let me know if you're still alive. It looks bad out there and everything. I was still alive. But yeah, um, so she had to come out. Uh, the dog actually came out earlier, around five maybe, I think. And, um, you know, hopped right up there on the cot with me. Uh, and I was just going to go back to sleep, but... Um, yeah she came out and woke me up you know yelled from the porch luckily i heard her and i was like you know man stove's out i'm cold i'm going in so i'm gonna try and get in here see what it looks like because you know i i couldn't see anything uh you know it's uh man it's not too bad in here at all really uh sleeping system held up this thing still seems to be working. Uh, it says it's 37 degrees inside of here right now, which I believe. Uh, stove, nothing happened. Yeah, this bad boy is cold. I'll tell you, this sleeping bag, there is no way that this is a zero degree sleeping bag. I think I'm gonna have to check and see what they actually sent me. I know whenever I woke up last night, um, I was pretty unhappy because <laughs> I, I was cold. I mean, the stove went out. Um, I, I was freezing. Uh, if it wasn't for that insulated, uh, the static V, you know, um, sleeping pad, I wouldn't have made it for as long as I did. That thing was, you know, I wouldn't say a lifesaver because I don't really think I was in any super danger, but uh, it did help last longer. The other thing is, I don't, I don't know how the sleeping bag works. So, you know, you know, like I always say, practice with your stuff. Yeah, I definitely did not practice enough with a sleeping bag. Um, I mean, I, I couldn't get out of it. I think I was just wrapped up in it. This uh, this cord here. Okay, yeah, see, now I see how it works. But I couldn't figure that out this morning. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to pass judgment on that yet. But, yeah, so there it is. The one Tigris uh, iron wall hot tent. Good stuff, man. Um you know i'm i'm gonna leave it up I'm, I'm gonna leave it up for a while like i said we got some snow here and uh it's coming down they're saying another three inches today i i doubt that but you know um i don't i don't need to take it down right now because uh yeah, it's my backyard i'm not camping in uh you know a state park where they're like yeah i'd be out here by like 11. um but yeah like i said man i just uh you know i just got up uh by six o'clock you know i was back in the house got on the couch man i sacked right out and uh, warmed up um really wasn't that bad you know uh, i kind of have a habit you know when i got a couple drinks of me something sets pissing me off and i i just I, I go off um but yeah so it wasn't that bad it wasn't that great either but um I survived the night, uh, so I'm going to get inside. I'm going to have some coffee. I'm going to leave this up. I might come hang out here a little bit more later and wrap this up. Um, to see how it holds up, you know, with the snow and stuff. But, yeah, it was a success. I'm alive. Uh, this isn't over yet, so uh, thanks for sticking with me. Well, I'm pretty happy nothing burned. That stove jack uh, seemed to have held up pretty well. Doesn't look like that tank burned up there. Which is amazing enough of that let me get some coffee wake up you know not really in a hurry to do anything but yeah now that i'm moving around man it was it was pretty awesome it was epic it was epic
Am I gonna do it again? Yeah, probably. Am I gonna do it again tonight? I don't know about that, but uh, hey, you know, keep watching, man. You guys will find out. All right, thanks a lot. It's kind of nice out here, man, with the snow. That looks cool. I'll tell you what, man, if I could, you know, master this thing, figure it out, you know, uh, the, the setup and everything, I think I'm okay with the stove, get it all figured out, I could definitely do this in, um, you know, I, yeah, I could definitely do it again. I was going to say, in colder temperatures, I could, uh, you know, a little warmer temperatures, I could. It's just, uh, I think the whole thing is a matter of just, you know... Trying to figure it out, trying to figure out, you know, how to set up the hot tent, you know, how it works and everything, you know, being able to go in and out, where to set up, you know, like the, the cot or, you know, whatever my sleeping system is going to be. And, you know, just sort of uh, figuring out the stove, getting, you know, how to do that and, and everything. But, um, you know, hey, I'm going to keep doing this stuff because... You know, I'm having a good time. For a first, first time, I think it was pretty successful. Um, I'm definitely going to do this again, I'll tell you that. We got some uh, warmer weather coming up. You know, it's going to get into the 40s in a couple days. Stay around in like the 30s and stuff. Um, you never know what the wind's going to be like. Maybe I will actually be able to get in the front yard and use this. Um, you know, we'll see. We'll see what the girlfriend thinks of that. Okay, so, um, you know, before I wrap this up, because, you know, I'm really not going to do a lot more, um, I'm going to tell you, though, I'm going to leave, uh, I'm going to leave the hot tent up, um, you know, I'm going to hang out here for a little while, going to let the stove, you know, burn down and everything, um, but I'm, I'm going to leave the tent up just to see, you know, how it does, you know, hold up, you know, through another day, uh, it's supposed to pretty much snow all day today, all night, uh, even though it, it sounds like rain. I don't know if you can hear that or not. But, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it up. I'm not taking it down. Plus, you know, I got the stove going, so I'm going to have to let that cool off. So that's just what's going to happen. Um, but, yeah, uh, before I forget, and don't you forget, uh, when I get 250 subscribers, got the uh, SOG Survival Hawk. Um, no, I didn't use it, but I just brought it out here to show you guys. Don't forget, I'm going to be uh, giving this away when I reach 250 subscribers. So tell your friends, tell your enemies. Um, when that comes up, it'll come up. You guys will know. So, yeah, you know, I just want to thank everybody again. It's still watching this, you know, ridiculous stuff. I would be doing this anyway. I, I really enjoy, you know, sharing it with people. I mean, I know there are people that watches, you know, or that watch this stuff. I know there's people that watch this stuff because, you know, YouTube tells me. And, you know, I really appreciate it. You know, I'm glad. Um, you know, give me some likes, you know. If you like it, you know, I'll like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. You know, some interaction. You know, leave comments. A bunch of you guys are leaving comments, and that's pretty cool. If you guys got any questions, you know, about... Uh, you know, the hot tent, uh, about the stove, ask me, I'll tell you. I mean, you guys know I'm not a professional, uh, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a backyard, you know, camper right now. Uh, I mean, although this is a tent I would take actually into like, you know, real wilderness and stuff. But yeah, if you got questions or whatever, or just something to say, you know, leave comments, um, you know, share this stuff. I think that's something you can do, you know, share it with people. Hey, you know, maybe somebody will win an axe. Or just, you know, life fucking sucks, man. You know, it always has. It's always gonna. I'm just trying to provide some entertainment and distraction for people. That's, that's my thing, man. You know, entertainment is my God. And I'm just trying to spread the word. This stove is pretty awesome. Um, and this tent is pretty awesome. You know, I would uh, definitely recommend, but it was definitely worth it, uh, even though I was worried about, you know, like the pole, this one pole thing, because I never used a teepee tent, um, really not a problem, um, 
you know, the guy line thing, which I don't know how to do, also not a problem. That's why you practice with your stuff. But, yeah, that's about it. That stowaway gourmet, it was, it was good. You know, it was good. So one thing I know is that, uh, you know, while I'm doing stuff, it may not seem like I'm having a good time or enjoying it, but after the fact, I look back on it, yeah, man, <laughs> I had a good time. Um, you know, it's all about entertainment, and, you know, maybe somebody's learning something from this. I mean, come on, you know, if, like, an old dude like me, you know, can get a hot tent and, like, a wood stove and, you know, set it up in his backyard and do it and survive and be inspired to do this again, wherever, um, you know, you can do it too. So, you know, if you want to do something, man, life's short, just, just do it. Give it a shot, you know, try. Um, I love this thing. I love it. Definitely going to do some car camping or something. We're going to take this someplace. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting warm enough in here. I can take this off and relax. You're going to take it off the best. You know, you just got to, you know, practice with your stuff. Learn how to use it. Um, all right. So, yeah, um, you know. I learned a lot. I really did. Maybe some of you guys did too. I don't know. But I got one more beer here. I still got some smokes. Um, but okay. Um, I've been going on way too long as usual. Uh, yeah, like I, you know, I always say, tell your friends, tell your enemies. Um, if you know you're just joining me and you kind of like this, uh, check out my other videos. So, yeah, uh, thanks for sticking with me through all this ridiculousness. Um, thanks for joining me. I, I really appreciate it. Um, you know, like I said, leave, leave comments. Um, you guys can always email me. Um, email address down there. Uh, I think it's outlawcampmail at gmail.com. I don't know. It, it's down there. But, yeah, email me. Send me some emails and stuff. You know, uh, we'll talk. Um yeah thank you all again I really appreciate you guys so yeah um, other than you know popping the snow off this going outside getting inside letting this burn out I had a really good time I'm glad everybody was here with me here's to all you guys my uh, you know loyal fans my subscribers uh, here's to anybody who just happened upon this and got sucked in um, it happens man so yeah thank you and um, I will be seeing all you guys again in the next outlaw camp misadventure